so hello friends as you are gearing up for your first exam and uh, those candidates who are mainly preparing for group 2 and also for both the uh, uh, both groups candidates who are all geared up to get their ranks so here is your idd planner which will be very handy for you i make a lot of changes the sequence which many don't follow but if you follow this it will be really handy for your exam so do check it out and do try to make use of it and stick to it so this is the planner on hour 9 uh, try to take a breather from 5:45 to 6 try to reach home before 6 because 6 to 7 pm is going to be all about demand and recovery uh, main thing is so that you can recall again tomorrow evening so you should start the tricky topics and which topics which are frequently asked you should start early so then 7 to 8 pm uh, we'll be moving to gst refund and customs refund and customs valuation fatafat you should be able to complete it then 8 to 8 to tea dinner and uh, try to keep it as short as possible and you will be starting with place of supply so if you see before you go to bed then 10:40 to 11:50 is where was you have to be the main thing is many candidates they tend to keep on postponing warehousing and ftp so if you close everything at least 30 to 40 marks on 9th the pressure will significantly reduce and on the 10th with fresh mindset you'll be starting with itc uh, 6 to 8 20 or 8:30 am then 8:40 to uh, 10:30 after the breakfast We will be going straight to offences, advance rulings, and section 80 to 94. Then 10:40 to 12 p.m. is assessment procedure section uh, 60 on. Then 12:50 to 1 p.m. balance pending topics in customs. By now, before you go for lunch. on uh, november 10th gst uh, that is exemption in indirect tax will be sitting in your pocket then 1:30 to 4 pm value of supply and time of supply and 4:15 to 7:30 pm exemptions the main thing we have kept exemption on the last instead of the first which many tend to do is sometimes no question comes from exemption or sometimes only four mark comes or sometimes mcq comes and also in exemption is sometimes prove to be very very important topic even 10 mark comes from it so if you do it in fact and, and there is nothing to keep on revising again in exemption unlike demand and recovery and section 129 130 etc like compounding of offices where numericals need to be remembered so that is the main thing begin keeping it in the fact and and 745 to 845 pm recall everything up to now then take a short break 845 to 930 which will help you regenerate and 930 to 1130 at 12 am balance pending topics and may 24 mock to in paper so if you do all of this and if you go to sleep then nothing can stop you from getting what you deserve so keep all these things in mind best wishes all the best once again stay focused